I'm Pat Lincioni here with Chris Stefanik, and here is your three-minute reset. Today I'm thinking about the prayer of St. Francis when he says, seek to understand more than to be understood. And I think this has relevance to work, especially in meetings and conversations we're having. There's two major kinds of communication in a meeting. One is called advocacy. That's when we say, here's what I think we should do. The other is called inquiry. When we're saying like, why do you mean that? What do you mean by that? And why do you think that? And tell me how you arrived at that. And any good meeting, any good conversation is going to involve more inquiry than advocacy. More people seeking to understand the other person's point of view to ensure that we're on the same page rather than trying to get our ideas across. And on a good team, when there's trust, people are constantly asking for clarity so that they can all be on the same page. Because I know that even when people speak the same language, there's so much room for misunderstanding mm -hmm. and misunderstanding breeds contempt. And so it's something I think we need to do in the workplace is ask more questions, inquire more than we're advocating. And if you read the scriptures, some of Jesus' most beautiful interactions with people started with him asking them a question. You know, what do you seek? Those are his first words in the Gospel of John. What are you looking for? Uh, do you want to be well? Um, he asked the woman at the well for a drink of water. You know, he would ask a question. And the way he interacted with people wasn't just for a scripture story. It was everything about how he lived and how he interacted is how we're supposed to model and live our lives. And as you were talking, Pat, I thought if it's hard for us to, to accept that, that role and, and to be a questioner and a listener, it might be because there's some deep need from a deep wound inside of you that makes you uncomfortable with not being heard all the time. Just take a deep breath if you're in that situation and say, you know what, even if I don't get to my point, that's okay. I let it go. I don't have to have this idea get out of my head right now. You know, it's interesting. I recently read this Christian blog of this guy that was saying, here's the key to evangelizing. And he said, the first thing you, to, you should do is ask lots of questions. Hmm. And because when other people are asked, when you ask somebody a question, you give them a chance to engage. And yet I always thought, well, I'm not a good evangelist because I need to go out there and stand on a box on, on the corner of a park and tell people the truth. But until you understand where pers a person's coming from, you haven't even earned the right to share with them. And so oftentimes it's like, tell me about how you see God. Tell me about where you think truth comes from. And, and, and that is not as natural to us. We think our job is to convince others. Sometimes the best marketing is just to ask somebody the question, what are you looking for? Hmm. Like, that's the first thing that Jesus said, what well, you're following me. What are you looking for? You know? So I think this is what we have to do is we have to start by inquiring, not advocating. Well, let's pray. Lord, give us spirits that are comfortable in quiet comfortable listening, comfortable not always being heard, and and help us to, to show your listening ear and presence to the world in the way we listen to others. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.